Okay, enough beating around the bush. Me and you both know you've got a big problem with this otherwise flawless set of games. None of your animal buddies are dicks anymore. Hey, friend. I like shopping. And you. Great to see you again, sugar tits. Stop it. Stay away from me. You moved here yesterday and I don't know you. I want to be verbally brutalized and not in like a sexy way either. More of a... I'm so alone way? Tell me that I'm unwelcome in your home or that you'd literally rather die than talk to me. See, New Leaf is missing this key mechanic where everyone is just horrible to you until you've done enough chores for them. Kinda like real life. Instead, everyone is all buddy-buddy constantly. Which, to be fair, is probably because you're the mayor and they just want a new bench or something. Each of the eight personality types have become so homogenized. What's the point of having all these different villagers if they all compliment your shirt, but one of them does it in sort of a backhanded way? We used to have cranky and snooty and smug villagers, but now they're friendly and sort of snooty. Friendly and sort of smug. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have friendly, that's what the normal personality is for, but make cranky more cranky. Make Uchi more... Home? Yeah, sure. Or look at Rossetti. In my first encounter with the mole, I thought I was in purgatory or something. How did he know I reset my game if he's in the game? And then they locked him behind a paywall because he made kids cry. I just broke the laws of physics. Damn right he should be telling me off for resetting my game, and now you're telling me this cosmic entity in charge of protecting the fragile space-time continuum is gonna let me off easy if I tell him my battery died? Blathers doesn't blath anymore, Tom Nook doesn't coerce you into remortgaging your house, and Phyllis isn't a stone-cold bitch saying shit under her breath that I hated when I was a kid, but now that I have a job that starts at 4am, I completely understand. There used to be this layer of personality dolloped on top of an already quirky game, but it's been spread so, so thin. Animal Crossing has a personality disorder, but instead of splitting into many, it just sort of smushes them all into one. <laughs>